Well, good morning, and we are getting towards the um, the end of our readings of Nehemiah. I hope you've been blessed. And today we're in uh, Nehemiah 13, 1 through 9. And I'm actually just going to land on just one verse, and I'm not going to pay too much attention to context. I just, because there's just something here that has been really something that has been a source of life to me over lockdown and I wanted to um, to share that with you and this really highlights it actually and it's in Nehemiah 13 1 it says this later that day the book of Moses was read aloud so that people could hear it and the written command was discovered therein permanently prohibiting the Ammonites and the Moabites from coming into the congregation of God um, Obviously, this is speaking about the fact that uh, a command of the Lord had been overlooked. And, you know, one of the things that happens when God gets into the business of restoration, um, he doesn't just bring about the restoration of physical stuff, but he's also interested in our internal values and what have you. And here, as they've been rebuilding the city of Jerusalem, at the same time that they're doing that, God is re-establishing values within them. And obviously, in the context here, we're told that what's happened is the Ammonites and the Moabites have not meant to be in the congregation, and actually they have been, and they go around, they go about um, dealing with that. But that's not actually what I really want to focus on today. What I want to focus on is just this one statement where it says, "The book of Moses was read aloud so that people could hear it," and I wonder, do you actually spend the time in the Word of God? reading the word of God out loud to yourself? Do you actually take time to, to um, I've got the, the Bible on audio and I'll just sit and I'll just listen to a whole book and just sit and just listen um, to the entire context, a whole, bo- a whole book and just let that wash over me and really just close the door to everything else. And I found this to be one of the most life-giving things that I do in in my walk with the Lord, that to actually literally, um, being a minister, of course, uh, obviously a lot of the time I'm picking up the Bible and I'm always looking, I'm looking for a verse to preach, I'm looking for something for somebody else, um, but to actually just go to the scriptures and just read them aloud and listen to what you're reading. You know the scripture we're told in Romans, aren't we, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word and um John 15, Jesus says, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, then you will bear much fruit. So how are we going to bear much fruit? How are we going to get to that place that the word of God is abiding in us? Well, it's going to be by his downloading it into us. And I just love this, that that the people of God stopped and the book of Moses was read so the people could hear it. And I want to encourage you in your time of of lockdown in this even as we're beginning to come out of it that's something that will have a massive impact on your walk with God and a massive impact even on your internal value system is just simply to just come and just sit and listen to the word of God being read and uh, there's some really great audio bibles about now and and um, and you know it used to be that you could only get ones with guys with really weird voices um, but but there's actually some really good audio versions of the bible that you can allow to just wash over you and I just want to encourage you to do that and what you'll find is is when you do that what will happen is exactly what happened to the Israelites as it said Uh, A written command was discovered. It's not like they were looking for it. They weren't going, it doesn't say, and they went to the word of God and they were reading the word of God because they were looking for something. It basically, they just came together just to hear the reading of the word. And I know friends of mine, they actually, um, at different times in the year, they actually do Bible reading where where they'll get, uh, just like we do 24-hour prayer and people commit to doing an hour of prayer what they do is they commit to reading the bible non-stop through the day and they'll get different people come in and they'll come and they'll take a section of scripture and they'll just read it and far from being boring it's it's something that really is 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 life-giving that when you read the scriptures out loud rather than just in your head there is something that happens in your spirit as you hear 
what you're what you're reading. And I, I want you to notice they that it says they heard it. And it's not enough just to listen. We need to hear. And you know as well as I do so how easy it is for us to be in the context even of conversation and just zone out and we're, we're, we're listening but not really hearing. And I want to encourage you that you actually take the time to do exactly what the Israelites did and come into the word of God, not because you want a revelation. Uh, or, sorry, not because you want something answered, not because you've got a sermon to write, not because you want to teach something, but literally just coming to the word of God for the sake of coming to the word of God and just reading it out loud. And something just in practical terms, something that has been really life giving to me. It really actually I can honestly say it really did transform my life. I, I read uh, a book by a guy called R.A. Torrey and a book called Reading the Bible for Its Greatest Worth. And he talks about different ways of reading the Bible. And he makes this statement, he says, take a single book and in one sitting, just sit and read it 12 times nonstop. Just go for it 12 times. Now, that sounds like a lot. Obviously, you probably wouldn't do that with the book of Psalms, but I did it. And he, the book he recommends to do it with first is the book of Ephesians. And I actually sat down and I read the book of Ephesians 12 times in one sitting. I found somewhere uh, off quiet and I just sat and I read through the book of Ephesians 12 times in one sitting. And the thing that was amazing is suddenly you could see how chapter one was knitted into chapter six. How does a flow in the book? And, and sometimes you don't see that flow if you don't actually read the whole thing. And I really want to encourage you in this in this time where we're now in this space where we're looking to begin to build up that this becomes a principle in your life and i recommend if you want somewhere to start start with that start with the book of ephesians another place to do it as well as the book of proverbs i've done it with a book of proverbs as well just read it all the way through in one sitting and i guarantee you you will be massively blessed your life will be impacted. Your faith will go grow. Your insight of God's heart will grow. Your understanding of scripture will grow. And as a Christian, your foundations will go deeper. So what can we lose? And who knows? You just might discover something that you hadn't noticed before. So God bless and do it. Amen.